So if you are not from the US and you have been keeping up with the news lately, you have probably heard about the rising value of the US dollar. So much so that since the beginning of this year, it has risen 2.7% against the Australian dollar, 4.7% against Chinese yuan, 1.8% against Singapore dollar and of course 5.2% against the currency of my beloved country Malaysian Ringgit Yeah, I know right Anyways, in this video, I will dive a little deeper into the world of currency and share with you why the US dollar is so valuable in times of crisis like now why is it still going up as we speak and give you some suggestions on what you can do as an investor in times like this But as always, I will always appreciate it if you can help me smack the like button down below It helps me to pay my bill so that I can create better and more content for you guys Thank you so much And without further ado, let's begin by going back in time Ever since 1871, most of the countries have been using currencies that were backed by the gold standard which consists of two formal rules currency convertibility and exchange stability and that allowed countries on the gold standard to enjoy a long period of stability in their economy. However, when World War I started, the gold standard was unable to cope with the ever-changing war that dragged on for a few years and that led to government finances to deteriorate and it was then the countries realised that the gold standard is not capable of holding through both good and bad times which in turn created a lack of confidence in it That went on for decades from 1918 to 1939 and it was a back and forth effort with countries trying to get back into the gold standard and trying to stabilise it but the effort was dampened by the recessions and banking crises on top of the Great Depression that lasted for a decade and exchange rates were all over the place and ultimately, the nail in the coffin, World War II happened and by the time the war ended, the countries have had enough with the gold standard and that is when the Bretton Woods Agreement came into fruition in 1944. Under this agreement signed by delegates from 44 different countries, the exchange rate for all foreign currency is pegged to the US dollar as they realised that failure to coordinate exchange rates during the interwar period had escalated political tensions which ultimately ended in the failure of the gold standard. Why the US dollar to be specific? Well, this was because the US held most of the world's gold supply, three fourths to be exact, which made the US dollar relatively stable at that time, even though it has the same value as gold. But that was enough to allow the world to slowly transition from the gold standard to the US dollar standard, which ultimately made it the official reserve currency of the world, where countries are able to convert their local currencies to the US dollar then proceed to convert their US dollar into gold if they so desire. That went on for several decades until 1971 when the US was flooding the market with the US dollar as they had to print money excessively to finance the Vietnam War and other ongoing projects at the same time. This ultimately caused growing concerns over the stability of the US dollar and that made many countries begin to convert their dollar reserves into gold. It got so bad to a point that in 1971, US President Richard Nixon was forced to take immediate action by severing the link between gold and the US dollar and that led to the floating exchange rates that we all know today be it US dollar to Japanese yen to pound sterling to euro, whatever. What President Nixon did made the US dollar susceptible to inflation since it is no longer backed by the gold and to combat that, he and his team introduced a series of drastic economic measures known as the Nixon shock which was made to prioritize the US economic growth in terms of jobs and exchange rate stability. Many economists debated over the policies made under the Nixon shock. Some say that it was great for the US dollar in terms of stability, while some argued that it provided the US government the ability to manipulate the variables and tweak the currency as they wish to their advantage, which is why today, the US Federal Reserve is able to alter their money supply in the form of quantitative easing and quantitative tightening but of course that does come with its consequences as well now with all of that info at the back of our head the next question will be why is the US dollar still going up right now especially when you have news that says the US have printed more than a fifth of its money supply in 2020 alone and inflation over in the US has reached a 40 year high of 8.3% well the short term strengthening of the US dollar is mainly driven by their more aggressive monetary policy compared to most other countries as the US Fed is expected to accelerate its interest rate hikes that will further push the interest rates close to 3% by the end of 2022. 
And that is why during times of uncertainty like now, demand for a safe currency such as the US dollar will be higher because it is deemed to be stable and liquid by most people. As you can see, the net foreign portfolio investment in the US long-term securities have increased by 139% since February 2020. And foreign direct investments in the US FDI have also increased significantly post the COVID-19 crisis. And also, the whole idea of the US dollar being the world's official reserve currency still lingers and that is why the US dollar will continue to be a safe haven for investors for the foreseeable future. And let's not forget, the Russia-Ukraine war is taking place in Europe, home of the Euro, the second largest reserve currency after the US dollar. And concerns of gas shortage have increased tremendously since Russia supplies about 40% of the Europe's natural gas. And at one point in March 2022, the oil price jumped to a 14-year high of $139 per barrel. Hence why investors are playing it safe by selling off their euro-denominated investments, which as you can guess already, resulted in the euro depreciating around 7% against the US dollar year to date. And to make things worse, the EU is expecting their GDP to drop by 3.6% in 2022 and 2.5% in 2023. Talk about a double whammy for the euro. On a separate note, do you know that the dollar strength is inversely proportional to oil prices? This means that as the US dollar strengthens, the price of oil denominated in US dollar, also known as petrodollar, typically falls since the demand for oil will decline as it will be more expensive for other countries to buy oil. So technically, whatever's happening on the Russia-Ukraine border, that actually helps the US in terms of oil revenue, which is why you see Warren Buffett is betting big on oil and gas stocks. So what should you do in this situation where your local currency is depreciating against the US dollar as time goes on and any sitting cash you hold will continue to lose its value to inflation at a very high rate? Well, one thing you can do is obviously hold on to your US dollar assets and do nothing. This might sound obvious but sometimes we humans tend to outsmart ourselves and do the exact opposite of what we're supposed to do. By just doing nothing, you are entering a wait and see state of mentality where you preserve your US dollar settled cash and assets and wait for opportunities to buy more shares at a discounted price because the bear market has been hammering down on a lot of the stocks. No thanks to the various things happening in the world right now. However, if you are holding any other currency that is not denominated in US dollar and you really want to build up your US dollar cash reserve to buy the US stocks, by all means, I would say go for it. The short-term savings from conversion losses might be 3 to 5%, but the long-term opportunity cost from not buying quality companies trading at a discount might be 20 to 30%. So in terms of risk to reward, it's a no-brainer to continue buying US dollar as and when necessary, regardless of whichever currency you're holding right now. Anyways, if you are a long-term viewer of this channel, you will know how much I rave about WISE and how amazing it is. If you absolutely need to convert your local currency into US dollar, look no further. WISE have one of the best conversion rates and they keep the rates to the minimum while being 100% transparent with you. Plus, there are no hidden charges and you will be able to receive the converted amount almost instantly in your WISE multi-currency account. Check out the links below to save some money when you make your first cross-border transfer. So wrapping up this video, there are many geopolitical and other factors affecting the value of the US dollars. But above all, these are mainly factors that are out of our control. However, what we can do as an investor right now is to stay educated and updated on the things happening around the globe so that we can make smarter choices with our money and not just easily give in to the fear, uncertainty and doubt spread by the media. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay invested and as usual, I will see you in the next one.